Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. We've been adventuring around Washington State in our silver 2001 Ford Ranger pulling a tiny 15-foot travel trailer, a 2014 Riverside Retro Whitewater 155. In August of 22, we found a last-minute campsite at 25 Mile Creek State Park. We got a great spot by the boat launch swimming area in a little store. The view of the lake was stunning. Hi, this is I, and we are camping. It's a shock, I know. We wanted to go to Lake Chelan. Everything was full in the state park. So there's another state park here in Chelan. And I checked it out, it's called 25 Mile Creek. And sure enough, we were able to get a spot. The day has been full of surprises though. We thought we were uh, off grid for this and we got here and there is power and water which turned out nice because it's about 95 degrees. So running the AC in the camper is really nice. Also, it turns out our spot has this amazing view. Look at that view, we're right on the marina. We are in spot 11, which is a partial hookup site. There's a mix of partial full hookups and tent sites here. And they have showers and bathrooms. Jerry's already off fishing. Everything is a little bit cloudy because there are some wildfires. It's the end of August in 2022. We've done pretty well. Not too many wildfires this year. She's looking cute today. One thing happened to me today that hasn't happened to me before, and I find it kind of humorous, interesting, whatever, is that I needed to do my lab work for my physical today before we left. I ran up to the hospital. I'm a hard stick. It's easier if I do it at the hospital. I ran up to the hospital to get my blood work taken, and then afterwards we were driving off to camp, you know, and I reached down because something itched on my arm, and I scratched the scab off of my arm and started bleeding all over. I have never done that before. Isn't that him? There he is. There is a burn ban. So, of course, Jerry's got to figure out a different way to cook the hot dog on gas. I'm literally cooking with gas. He's cooking with gas. But seeing as there's like orange in the sky from the fires, it kind of makes sense that there would be a burn ban. They're not really just overreacting. It's a little hot for a fire. Yeah, 90 degrees, you don't really want to start a fire. AC's running. Um, doing dishes with the hose, not too bad. And number 12 hasn't shown up yet, so we still have the million dollar view with a fishing pole in front. Yeah. But this is our kind of tradition is we have hot dogs on the first night at camp because no one feels like cooking cooking the first night after you've traveled right every campsite is so different and you never know and so your setup is different every single time i wonder if we'll get settled in at some point well, you're hot jerry has two new items to show you on this trip one electroometer that shows how much electricity we're getting it's called something like that well that was because i thought we were boondocking right so you had to have a voltmeter so we know it looks a little temporary the way it's in place. Where is, is Jerry rigged? It's Jerry rigged by Jerry himself. He has the authority to Jerry rig whatever he wants. Yeah, it's super temporary. And then he has something else to show you. His magnetic camerameter, backing camera. Magnetic backing camera. but it's 90 degrees in here so we're gonna have it on. We went this morning to Crapery or this afternoon to have lunch here they are making our crepes.
open because we're still dealing with the popular sickness. So we had to go eat in the car so I couldn't manage camera. Jerry's food was really good. Mine was good. I didn't like the olives. They were really, really, really strong and overpowered the rest of the dish. I think that the olives would have been good. Anyway, we were on our way back home from town and this happened. Jerry decided he had to fish just on our way back to the campsite. I got a treat for tonight and Hawaiian chocolate. I don't know if it's any good, but I'm gonna try it out tonight, see if I like it. 50% dark milk. It, uh, cocoa, cocoa butter, organic cane sugar, passion fruit juice powder, organic whole milk powder, contains milk. So we're gonna see if this is good. So this is our last full day. We only have one full day, the only full day that we have at Lake Chelan. And then tomorrow we pack up and have to be out by one, head back home because I am playing bass on Sunday. Also because we couldn't get another campsite because we're new. We don't know what we're doing when we rent these. And it is coin operated showers at 25 Mile Creek in Lake Chelan, Washington. But the machine that makes change broke and so all the showers are free. Jerry took one and he still gave him quarters because he didn't know. the squirrel opening a nut noise. And this is the mess from yesterday's skunk who apparently likes the sauce off of a batch of ribs. What you got to show me? My Jerry Rig voltmeter. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Why did you need a voltmeter? Uh, because, well, this trip I thought we were not going to have power and water, uh, which unexpectedly we, we did. did. <laughs> so our last trip, I didn't have a good way to monitor our battery. Mm -hmm. And for this trip, I bought a super cheap overnight Amazon Express uh, voltmeter and I wired it in really quick. And I wanted it so I could check it really easy. Uh -huh. So it's it's jerry rigged. There it is. There it is. Temporary. And it goes back to the battery that the trailer has. Yeah, it goes back. We've got a deep cycle battery, just a regular lead acid battery on the front end. That's why I need to keep track of it. Cool. It was unnecessary. For this trip. For this trip. But there might be another trip where we need it. Well, we're, we're leaving in a couple weeks, two weeks. And yeah. We're on another trip where we have two days where we're definitely off grid. Why is the voltmeter in a drawer? Uh, because all the power, the power station, everything's down here. There's the voltmeter, uh -huh. and underneath the two drawers is the power center. If you can move your thumb, I think that's a little blank. Yeah. Your thumb. There you go. Is the power center. So the easiest spot to put it really ended up being the drawer, because I didn't, I'm not ready to cut any holes yet. 
because I'm anticipating going to a lithium battery and changing out the power center and then I'll have to have a charge controller and blah 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 and so I'm gonna have to figure out where that goes so right, right now it's in the drawer and that is the wrong answer the answer is I put it in the drawer darling so that the light wouldn't be glowing all night and you could sleep well that's part yeah actually that is part of it I didn't want it blue light all night so and I didn't want to be bumping into it yeah so that's that is why it's in the drawer Where are you camera? this is the backup camera yes and it is wireless rechargeable there's actually a little solar panel you can hook up to it but it's got a fairly robust battery so it it didn't really use much battery life but so I've got a magnetic mount for it and I made a little jerry-rigged temporary mount for it. it goes above the spare tire and it worked fine except for for some reason it fogged up on a hot day yes on our trip over this one this unit has to probably go back but I like the camera it actually did work well so I don't know why this had moisture in it from the factory this is an experimental run it did speed up your backing time I mean backing up to the trailer to connect to the hitch it was a lot quicker oh yeah I can take this I made a lanyard because I wasn't sure. Sure, no. I wasn't sure if I was how, how well, and it did move, so I'm glad I had it. But in order to back up and see the hitch, I don't, I don't need adult supervision back here. I just take that and I point it almost all the way down, and I can see my hitch, and I can see the my ball. I can see the hitch. I can line them up. I line them up perfect today. So that's. In theory, I could just about tow by myself. And then why were you sticking it to this table? Oh, well, I was sticking it to the metal table because I was leveling out my truck because I have a kitchen in the kitchen drawer in the back of my truck. I could see my truck. Cool. And I had rocks and a ramp, and I could see where I was on the ramp. The monitor I got there, I got it in place where my phone was on my ram mount. And you it's, kept it going while we were driving down the road. Yeah, I kept it going, so I had a rear view. Which I find helpful. Not as helpful as I would have initially thought uh, yeah. because I, the mirrors actually work pretty good. But it is nice to see, oh, there's somebody right behind me. So I will have a link in the description with both the camera for his rear view camera and the, and the voltmeter so that you can go on Amazon and get those yourself. here to see our other Lake Chelan adventure and down here for video that YouTube picked out just for you. <laughs>